Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the erythema multiforme. So this is the skin condition where there is a presence of a, a ring like a lesion on the skin. And it, the erythema means the red patch and multi means uh, many while forme means different shapes. So this is the erythema multiforme it means red many red patch with different shape. The, the shapes are mostly circular in shape and if you are new in this channel please like and subscribe that would be highly appreciated so in this video we'll be talking about its clinical features histological features as well as some treatments so let's get started so it is defined as the erythema multiforme is an acute self-limiting and sometimes reoccurring skin condition that is considered to be type 4 hypersensitivity reaction associated with certain infection medication and other various triggers so this is an acute condition so acute condition means it arises suddenly and also self-limiting that means it arises it 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 appear and also it disappear on its own and also sometime reoccurring skin condition and it is a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction that means it is a delay type of reaction where there is an infiltration of lymphocyte plasma cell macrophages and this is triggered with certain infection medication and other various factors so this is the definition of erythema multiforme and it is characterized by target iris bull's eye lesion so lesion is lesion the lesion present in the erythema multiforme it is also called target iris or bull's eye target means uh, the skin lesion that has three zones of color as in the picture you can see in the middle there are blister or when the blister rubs it, it become crust and it is surrounded by pale pink and there may be swelling so this usually have three zones of colors so those are called target cells it is also called iris as it resembles to the iris of an eyes also called bull's eye lesion as it resembles to the bull's eye as in here and the type of erythema multiforme we have three types erythema minor so in minor there is only localized eruption of erythema on the skin but no on the mucosal involvement so it appear only on the skin but not in the mucosa while in the erythema major there is a severe skin and mucosal involvement so it appear both on the skin as well as mucous membrane so the ra tar raised target lesion seen on the face and extremity you can see the target lesions that is with different three colors on the face and extremities and also stephen johnson syndrome so some uh, there is a mucosal erosion plus widespread distribution of flat atypical target lesion on the trunk face and extremities so there is a widespread uh, widespread of the uh, atypical target lesion on the trunk face and extremity in stephen johnson syndrome there is a more distribution of this lesion and sometimes this Stephen Johnson syndrome nowadays are, it is also considered as a separate disease and the etiology is drugs is the main ca causes of the erythema multiforme so drugs such as sulfur drugs play main role in uh, in triggering the erythema multiforme also the HSP infection that is herpes simplex virus infection also play the main role in triggering the erythema multiforme so erythema multiforme most of the erythema multiforme minor are triggered by hsp infection while in major herpes uh, virus infection accounts for only 55 percent and stephen johnson syndrome and erythema multiforme major are mostly caused by sulfur drugs such as anticonvulsant and nsaids allopurinol so these drugs play main important role in triggering the erythema multiforme of uh, Stephen Johnson syndrome and erythema major. Let's see the clinical features. So it occurs at the age of second to fourth decade of life between 20 to 40 years and it is more in male when you compare with female and if you see the sides it mostly occur at the hands, feet, legs, face, neck where mostly on the skins and if you see the presentation it is mostly asymptomatic that is there is no pain, pain and inflammation and if you see the appearance it either appear as a erythematous macules means there is a red color in shape uh, red color or papules that means it slightly raised above the skin 
or vesicobulus that means it is raised and if there is a pause i mean fluid or clear fluid and uh, these are the appearance also they are symmetrical and of various sizes so if you try to divide they are bilaterally symmetrical and they are of various sizes and concentric ring like appearance so if you see the appearance they are usually concentric ring like appearance they are circular in shape and these cells are also called target cells or iris or bullseye lesion target cells means they have a three zones of color in the middle there is a blisters or crust when the blister rupture and it is surrounded by pale pink and also there is a swelling and these cells are called target iris or bullseye lesion as they resemble to bull's eyes and lesion appear rapidly and persist for several days and gradually fade and clear after a few weeks so this lesion appear rapidly within a few time and it uh, persists for several days like uh, maybe a week and after a few weeks it appear it disappear on its own so they are also called self-limiting and also recurrence is common so these are the picture of erythema multiforme so here's the target cell and they are appeared as the concentric or iris or bull's eye lesion and the oral manifestation so the changes in oral cavity due to erythema multiforme are the tongue, buccal mucosa, palate, and gingiva are mostly affected. And hypermic macule, papules, or vesicle, or bulla are eroded or ulcerated and bleed. So the appearance such as macules means called discoloration, or papules means raised area, or vesicle means small fluid, fluid, small, uh, fluid filled area, and bulla means large fluid filled they erode or ruptured and they, there is an ulcer in the eroded area and sometimes there is a bleeding so of course when there is an ulcer there is a pain and discomfort and incrustation of lips so the lips become hard and dry as in the picture this is the incrustation of lips also the mucos mucosal vesicular bulla occur which rupture and leaves surface covered with thick yellow or white exudate so when vesicle or bulla they rupture they are covered with thick yellow or white exudate let's see the histological features so the cutaneous lesions so intra epithelial and sub epithelial split so within the epithelium there is a split uh, the cells start to split also there is a basal cell vacuolization this basal in the basal layer the cells start to become vacant the content of the cells start to disappear and also there is spongiosis that means uh, in the uh, within the epithelium uh, the edema develops that is uh, there is edema within the epithelium in the epidermis and also there is acanthosis that means the in the stratum spinosum the cell number start to increase abnormally and thinning of basement membrane so basement membrane start to become thin and also there is an infiltration of chronic inflammatory cells like macrophages plasma cells and the differential diagnosis so after stomatitis so this uh, after stomatitis is a uh, skin lesion that occur mostly in the mouth uh, and lips and gingiva and it occur uh, it resembles with the erythema multiforme also contact dermatitis pemphigus bullous lichen planus chickenpox these lesion matches with the erythema multiforme and the treatment in both major and minor form of erythema multiforme the symptoms are treated using antihistaminic so if there is allergy production uh, the antihistamines are used also if there is a pain pain relievers are used and also soothing ointments are used if there is a pain or inflammation also, a saline mouthwash or one containing with antihistamines, pain relievers, uh, and cupectate are used. Also, topical steroids are used uh, to suppress the inflammation. And in severe cases, careful wound care and dressing could be necessary. Uh, it is done by using liquid antiseptics such as 0.05% chlorhexidine when bathing will help prevent infection from other bacteria or virus so this is the protocol for severe cases 
the the wounds need to be cleaned properly and dressing should be needed also while bathing uh, the leak, uh, the water can be mixed with antiseptic uh, to kill the bacteria or virus and if it is infection uh, then the appropriate treatment will be the blood culture and uh, of course antibiotics and if it is due to medication the doctor may stop all the drugs as the first step for to discover to see which drug is causing the problem so these were the treatments